Welcome back, Forts fans from around the world. Welcome back, Forts fans from Germany. My name is Synergy. You are watching Synergy Gaming TV. Patch 1.21. What does it mean? Is it any good? And is Forts headed in the right direction? Stay tuned. We'll break it down. All right, Forts update 1.21. I know this is a little bit late, but we're getting to it now. Good day, Forts fans. We're back with another bi-monthly update covering a range of important bug fixes and quality of life improvements to serve the Forts community and enhance the player experience. We've also included a few commander changes. Read on for more. Commander changes. That is exactly why we are here. Post-battle stats. Uh, cool. I like this screen already showing the contribution of both players in damage and their remaining reactor. I think that's that's good. I like that quite a bit. Uh, individual player stats now appear in the battle results screen. I think they could do some more some more stats in there though. Um, I think I think resources or metal floated would be another good one to add in there just just cuz. Um, I think that would be a good teaching tool. It's a coaching tool. Um, that, that players can use the other players and they can see that stat right at the end of the match. So I think floated metal would be a really good one to add in there. Uh, hot on the heels of Observer HUD and multiplayer loading screen comes the post-battle stat screen. After the battle has ended, players will get a breakdown of how each player fared, individually listing damage done and reactor health left. Ordered by damage done, this feature will allow players, observers, streamers, and viewers a handy overview of player performance. It's even shown during replays. I like that. So that's really handy because we do replay commentary and being able to see this, this is going to allow me to uh, make those uh, points, observations, and talk about their specific performance in general and you can also take a look at their contribution to the fight now that doesn't always mean just damage done right you can do defensive fire beams for example which obviously you're not doing a whole lot of damage because you're aiming downwards to try and block the um you know gunner bullets or shotguns or flax or things like that so there's other alternatives and other deciding factors as to your ability to contribute to the fight but damage is a very good basic indicator for sure all right commander changes now this is something that i have been talking about since Jeez, it's got to be at least 2020 in any of my streams talking about how uh, Forts really needs to focus on the tiny little tweaks or balance patches in between ranked seasons, making tiny little commander changes to fluctuate the meta to create some volatility and and just trying to get that balance even closer. So let's see what they've done here. Shock and awe. We've talked about lots. Needs a buff. Let's see what they did here. Energy shields now absorb firing resources as well as reflecting beams, giving shock and awe an edge against beam happy opponents. Shocker. Funny one, Earthworks Games. Shocker. So that means, if I'm not mistaken beforehand, shock and awe used to just absorb the laser. Um, so it never got reflected back. Now it gets reflected back as well. Um, I mean, it, I like it. It's not, uh, it's not game changing. It's not meta breaking. Uh, I think it's definitely a good ad for shock and awe. I do want to mention something that I have done in the synergize ranked balance mod link for that will be down below in the description. If you guys are looking for some other commander tweaks, um, what I've done is I've taken shock and awe's ability, uh, or the active meter and I shrunk it down to the size of the old scatter shot. So Shock and Awe gets the meter all the time. It gets to activate her ability. So you can save it for those specific situations when you want to take your fire beams and your 20 mils and you want to ramp them up into plasmas and cannons. But it also gives you the opportunity to spam it in a defensive situation to try and cut down on your opponent's energy production. It's a really interesting way to play. Uh, and many of the FPL players, the Forts Pro League players, have played that balance mod and really enjoyed Shock and Awe. It didn't feel too broken. Just really liked the play style of trying to hinder your opponent's uh, energy production um, using that ability. Very, very neat. Let's see what else they've changed. Hurricane, of course, we know Hurricane needed a buff. In line with the hyper theme of the character, Hurricane's repair stations now reduce the duration of the EMP effect of EMP rockets and the like by half a second each second. This effect stacks. The more repair stations, the quicker your weapons recover from EMP. That is really interesting. I like it. 
Again, not a game breaking change. It's very minor. You have to invest in repair stations and it'll allow you to not disable your stuff or have your stuff disabled quite as long. Again, a very interesting change, not game breaking. In fact, that's pretty minor uh, to, you know, our players, our top tier players going to build repair stations to lower EMP. No, they're just going to build wood spam in the front and gunners to try and take out the rockets. So I don't see FPL players taking advantage of this at all. Um, I like the ad. I think that's okay. And there's going to be situations where it's going to be viable, but I don't, I don't see it being, um, being a major game changer. I like it though. I, I do like it. Um, again, let's go back to the Synergize ranked balance mod. Um, we increased the um, build the passive build speed from 10% to I believe it's 20% currently, and I think we're going to go down to 15% um, to give that you know that that indication of speed. And we've currently buffed the reload speed from 100% to 125%. So it's a little bit faster to make Hurricane feel a little bit more. I think we're going to go up to 150%. The current version of Hurricane just doesn't feel that strong. The active ability, while being good, there's too much time still between shots for your opponent to kind of rebuild. Um, just adding a little bit more of a buff, I think, to the reload speed. Uh, like I said, we're at 125% reload speed, and so far, FPL players that have played it with me in stream seem to like it. It says it, it's not quite enough to make Hurricane viable in the current meta, but it's definitely in the right direction. So I think 150% uh, 150% reload speed during the active would be would be a good thing to see, and maybe a little bit more passive build speed. Somewhere in there. Um, the passive build speed comes from the from the Dragon Clan, the Red Dragon Clan. What are they called again? I can't remember. Dragon, the, anyway, the Hurricane Team, the Red Dragons, the Dragon Army, Dragon Army? I think it's Dragon Army. Uh, they all have some sort of, or had, all some sort of kind of build speed. Architect, active ability, 300% build speed. Hurricane's passive build speed was 10%, and then the old overdrive before the nerf was 50% build speed during the active. Uh, so again, in the ranked balance mod, we gave uh, Overdrive 30% build speed during the active to try and tie their team kind of unified together, right? So they all have some form of build speed in, in one form or another. So we found that kind of a lore thing felt pretty good too in the, in the ranked balance mod. Let's take a look at Eagle Eye. The ranked shot ability added to Eagle Eye a couple of updates ago has proven effective. I totally agree, but that's a Hurricane thing, not an Eagle Eye thing. Seems weird that Eagle Eye would get that. Perhaps too effective. We've given a little tickle and increased the time to bank the extra strat from 20% up to 25%. I totally think that's okay. I totally think that's okay. There's been a huge uh, amount of players taking advantage of Eagle Eye. Um, and, and to have that little nerf to try and balance things out to bring that power level down, I think is fantastic. Um, again, let's talk about the Synergize Ranked Balance Mod. Link for that will be in the description if you guys want to take it out. Uh, Eagle Eye has always felt like a commander that is designed for a Tier 1 rush. Everything about the commander's old abilities and the abilities were, were about early, early games. Um, automatic uh, shotguns, increasing the aiming arc of your weapons. Um, and extra rounds for the gunners and no wind up for the miniguns. So just, and, and minigun AA, I think it's minigun AA. Shotgun AA was Warthog, if I'm not mistaken. So it's minigun AA, um, just really good early game features. So what did we want to try and do is take advantage of Eagle Eye's early game abilities. So in the ranked balance mod, what we decided to do is we've allowed the AP sniper to be built with only the upgrade center. So you don't have to build a sniper, then upgrade the sniper. You can place AP snipers directly after placing the upgrade center, which is super awesome. So you're seeing some usage of AP snipers. We've also increased the damage bonus to devices as well as weapons. So Eagle Eye's potential to do early game damage is really good. It can one-shot a mine. It can one-shot batteries and um, technologies. It can one-shot a lot of stuff, right? Like an AP. We're thinking like a like a like a penetrating. What are they like? A incendiary penetration round. Like the 50 cal big goes through a bunch of stuff and blows things up. That's kind of the the thought for Eagle Eye. And then we've also added a three round magazine. So basically it's just the heat meter gets three shots before it has to reload. I think there's 1.5 seconds between each shot. So you get bang, 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 and then you get to, um, 
uh, then it reloads. So it just gives Eagle Eye's sniper abilities in the early game damage really good. And then of course with, and then of course Eagle Eye has the late game banked shot. Uh, I think the nerf is great. So um, I'd really like to see this. This is fantastic to see little tweaks to the commanders. Um, again, I would have liked to see a little bit more on the abilities. Abilities are what define these commanders and they haven't really touched anything with Shock Shotgun Shock Shotgun never played, virtually never played. So why is that? Well, the ability is not that great. Uh, it's really unique, except you don't get it often enough. So if you get it more often, it makes it more useful and you can use it in a wider variety of ways, which is why we buffed it. And Hurricane, the same thing, does very limited stuff, but does it relatively well. All we've done is just make it a little bit better. So it'd be really nice to see the developers go in that direction, but let's move on. Overall, I'm very happy to see these. Any changes to the commanders is, is good in my book. Some interesting modding stuff in this last little bit. You guys can uh, freeze, the, pause the video right here and read that stuff. If there's anything in there. Improve, increased ranked ping limit to 350. That's insane because even 200 to play on. But I, I would figure that they improved the increased rank ping limit uh, or the, the ping limit because there's people that are just not having good matches. Uh, the game is when when Germany is not playing, the game is basically dead. Um, there's a few players in in China that play. Uh, other than that, it's pretty pretty much dead. By China, I mean Asia, because that includes Philippines and that kind of that time zone. Uh, remember last tab in the workshop screen when reopening, and also populate tabs made visible. I like that. Excuse me. Improve absorbs beam is mutually exclusive to reflect beams. Materials can do both, or either. I like that. Improve, repair, EMP repair, and disruption device abilities are mutually exclusive. Vertical position of victory and defeat results. Very cool. Uh, dedicated host setting is written. Finally, finally, the dedicated host setting is written. Oh, so when you turn it to false, the game will just remove it from, from, the, from the file. And then you have to re-add dedicated host into the settings underscore, uh, into the settings hardware.lua. So it's nice. Finally, they can just leave it there. I appreciate that. That's very, very convenient. Uh, bind and keyless commands, control modifiers are localized and canceled by pressing the escape key. Remove the option to disable anti-air in skirmish and multiplayer. Um, I agree. I don't think anyone ever uses that. And the only reason they do is to troll and break noobs, um, which is super unfair. So there's, I'm glad they took that out. There's no need for that at all. Whoa. Let's go back. And I think there's anything else here. Make sure to join our Discord. If you haven't already, join the Fort's official Discord server to connect with other players, share strategies, create maps and mods, and receive advance notice on upcoming events. Cheers, Earthworks Games. Well, um, you guys should join their Fort's Discord. Um, I will put their link to the Fort's Discord in the description down below as well. Uh, you guys should join in there if you're not, and you can just learn a lot. The community... Uh, in most cases is very, very good. The modding community is super helpful. Um, and there's lots of really good people in there to, to help you guys and, and direct you. Uh, of course there's Fort's tutorial videos, which are down below in the description as well. So if you guys want to learn how to play Fort's and some cool key features and things like that, check out that playlist. Lots of cool stuff in there as well. So let's answer the question, ladies and gentlemen, the whole reason you clicked on the video is Fort's headed in the right direction. And the answer is yes, absolutely. Um, in order to get a game to grow in times nowadays, um, there needs to be content exposure. I'm gonna be doing a video uh, coming up here relatively soon as to why content creators and streamers aren't sticking with forts. If you've noticed, we've had tons of fort streamers come and go. Lots of people leave. There's a reason for that. We're gonna talk about that in another video. But is the game and the developers headed in the right direction? Uh, adding in esports, um, adding in that competitive scene and focusing on that direction. Um, believe it or not, 80% of RTS players um, focus on single player, campaign, skirmishes, things like that. Approximately 20% focus on the competitive aspect. So um, Forts has done an incredibly good job at creating a very, very good campaign and great um, solo player experience. They've added in that skirmish uh, feature, which obviously for anyone who's half decent at the game is a joke. But if you're new to the game, it's super fun to be able to play against um, different levels of scripted AI and focus on certain aspects. We're going to talk about more in another video coming up on how to utilize the skirmish feature um, for your games. Uh, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Subscribe for that. Um, 
But yes, Forts is headed in the right direction. Focusing on that competitive esports thing and adding in those cool features is what's going to allow content creators to keep creating content and keep that exposure going for Forts. This is something I've talked about since 2019, late 2019, early 2020. I've been talking about why this needs to happen and why they need to focus on working with content creators to keep making Forts content, to keep pushing it out there so that people can see that there's actually uh, a future with Forts and there's there's work being done and there's competition, there's drive to be better. Um, and and I, I definitely think Forts is in the right direction. This is this is absolutely fantastic to see. It's long overdue and I'm just I'm just really happy to see it. So there you have it you guys. Big shout out to my one patron on here. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. You are the one that is helping if your little contribution is helping a lot uh, and I appreciate it. If anyone else out there is interested in joining you can subscribe on Patreon for as little as $2 American a month and help me create more content. So as always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Synergy and we'll catch you guys on the flip side.